Uh, you said to me something, Peter, that I respect immensely. And you said, when you get a puppy, you keep that puppy. And a lot of people in the sport don't do that. Yeah. That's the... Yeah, we, we know a lot of people, they, um, they start with a puppy, then they are not happy with them, and then, then they give it away, take the next one, and so they have a lot. It's not our style. We, it's also not a, not a style from High Winkle Club. We we give our best when we have yes. choose a puppy. Then we we want to keep it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. In in choosing a puppy, you're really getting a puppy puppy, like an eight week old puppy. You're not talking about like a ten month old puppy. Eight eight hey, weeks. Hey, hey, always hey. eight weeks. Yeah. And of course, it's important to have a, a very young puppy because then we can um, support them in, in, the, um, in the right way we want him to go. Mm -hmm. and, and tell me about that procedure when you're choosing a puppy, because I've got a hundred questions. For you guys, it's different. I mean, I think a good friend of mine, Danny Craig, said, you know, you could take any good Malinois and put an IGP one, two, three on at a club level. But this is not even in your realm. I mean, your realm is I'm getting a puppy and I'm going to the world championships. This is your mindset. So what what do you look for when you pick up that puppy? So there are different things. First of, of all, we, we look to the bloodline. So we are very long in this sport and for a long time. And so we know a lot of dogs from the history we have seen in championships. Uh, then we, we have seen a lot of dogs in Körung from DMC. And, and so we have an idea what kind of uh, bloodline fits good to our, mm -hmm. our uh, idea of, of training and what, what we like. And so, and uh, of course, so that's the first we look to the bloodline. Mm -hmm. Then we look for the breeder. For us, it's very important to have a breeder. He takes care of the puppies. He, uh, makes a good job that he really shows them a lot. He's friendly with the puppies, and, and, and so he uh, also a lot he, of contact to the people. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. very important that they are really in a good social. Yeah, yeah you mentioned that yeah. before the social thing, and I think that's so important because people always think IGP dog, biting dogs, protection dogs, working dogs, that they're they're just mean dogs or dangerous dogs, and I, I mean no, nothing could be further from the truth. I've worked with thousands of dogs and the protection dogs or sport dogs are always just so easy there i've never had a worry about getting bit by one yeah a, a really good protection dog a, a working dog has good nerves he has he's confident he has and there is no reason to bite without any reasons